In Vigo County, residents are one step closer to deciding on the school corporation's financial future. It comes after the Vigo County School Board voted to place a referendum on this fall's ballot. Demetrius Sanders was at tonight's Vigo County School Board meeting. He joins us in the newsroom with the latest. Sadie, Mike, since 2016, the Vigo County School Corporation has been deficit spending, causing its cash balance to drop. Monday, the school's board voted to approve a referendum that will put the financial future of the corporation in the community's hands this November. In 2016, the Vigo County School Corporation had a cash balance of around $30 million. In 2019, that number could drop to around $12 million. According to Vigo County Schools Superintendent Dr. Robert Hayworth, the school's emphasis on safety and wellness helped cause the situation. From Sandy Hook to today, we've went from eight to 38 police officers. Uh, we've added 40% uh, more guidance counselors. To help maintain its finances in the future, Monday, the Vigo County School Board voted to approve a resolution that will place a $7 million operational referendum on the ballot in November. Through this plan, property owners with a home value of $100,000 would pay approximately $53 more in property taxes for the next eight years. Hayworth says the board's decision to move forward with the referendum shows its desire for the community input. The board uh, has weighed their options uh, and I think by placing this on the ballot they're asking for the community to help to be a partner. During the meeting several community members spoke in support of the referendum including state representative Tanya Paff. We owe it to our students in our community to get the best education we possibly can. But there were others who believe the school's finances should not be on the shoulders of the community. They should have learned how to spend the money they had to start with, and then they wouldn't be asking us for a referendum for more money. And moving forward, Hayworth says conversations both for and against the referendum will be important. It's great for us to be able to hear their questions, their concerns. Do we have the ability to answer that that might provide them more information? Information. Now, Hayworth says the referendum isn't officially on the ballot quite yet. Tuesday, the board's decision will be sent to the Department of Finance and Local Government. From there, the department will work with Vigo County election officials to get the referendum placed on the ballot. Now, Demetrius, what will happen if the community votes down the referendum? Sadie, under the, under the current plan, Hayworth is calling for $4 million in budget cuts in addition to the referendum. And without the referendum, Hayworth says we could see around $8 million in cuts, which will impact jobs and other programs.